my export graphics and audio from MuseScore. Uh, both of those things are built into the program as save as, and we just go save as and select the file format that we want. But the problem with that is, is that it does the entire form, uh, entire file, and that's not what we want at all. Um, for exporting graphics for the for our purposes, we want to be able to export smaller parts of it. So the way that to do this is to go ahead and create a new file. And um, I'm just going to throw a piano score in there for right now, and then we're done. Um, and then I want to do, I'm going to do a one measure example. If you want to do longer, you just do however long you want. Um, but uh, very often I'm doing one measure example, so I'm going to go ahead and delete all the measures except for one, and then go up to the layout menu and select page settings, where I'm going to change it to a custom setting. And for a one measure example, I think about 100 by you know, 10 by 6 centimeters will be just fine. And so we'll click Apply. And yeah, that looks pretty good. That'll give me a decent one. So I'll click OK. And then what I want to do is go back to my piece here and let's select a measure. Um, and we will copy it go here and paste it. And now when I export this, I will have just this one example here. Um, I should probably go ahead and uh, staff properties and turn off the, uh, get rid of the staff name. Okay, and so it looks like that. And so what you can do now is um, export this as a ping file by just simply selecting save as and then we'll select ping and it's done. Now you can do the same thing for the audio file. All you have to do is save as again with the same exact thing. So if you want a, a, an audio file to go along with it, and this time you select the WAV file. And, oops, X. And we'll save it as that as well. And so it's that simple, really. Um, you might actually, if you're going to do a fair amount of this, and most people in academia do do this a lot, um, you might actually want to create a number of templates that will be for graphics. And so I would, might do like a, a one measure graphic template, so that would be 100 by 60. And then I would do another one that might be uh, 200 by 60, and so that would be a two measure graphic, and so on and so forth, for four, up to four measures, maybe. Um, and again, you know, it depends on what type of work you're doing, but um, it would be a really good idea to just go ahead and create something like that.